have confidence in your thoughts? Do you look at those who have unshakable confidence in God and wonder how they can have that confidence? What do you think about how does your view of God impact your thought life? Keep watching to find out. Hi everyone, I'm Elisa. And I'm Jen. From Captivated by Him. We are excited to learn more from God's word with you today so we can grow in our love and obedience to God. Recently, we have been studying the topic of dignity and have learned what dignity is and where it comes from. Dignity is to be worthy of esteem or respect, have inherent nobility or worth, and have poise or self-respect. Ultimately, we have dignity because of our Father, God. He encompasses dignity and gifts us, His daughters, with dignity. God has given us inherent worth, which is a great blessing. And because God has given us worth and adopted us as his daughters, we should be dignified in every area of our lives, including our thoughts. Our thoughts? Yes, even our thoughts. Do you ever think about what your mind generally thinks about on a day-to-day -day basis? It's a good question to ask ourselves because the kind of thoughts we can have affect whether those thoughts are dignified or not. Our thoughts also affect our confidence in God. When we have doubts, anxieties, or worries, we have a shaky confidence in God. And it's not because God is untrustworthy or shaky, it's because of our sinful thoughts, doubts, incorrect or immature thinking about His goodness and sovereignty. That's a great point, Elisa. Instead of having wrong thoughts, we can be dignified in our thoughts, which we see in Proverbs 31, 25, which says, Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she smiles at the future. You may be familiar with the Proverbs 31 woman who has admirable and godly character. She's an example of a woman who fears the Lord and has confidence in Him. It is important to remember that true confidence comes from God. The Proverbs 31 woman is strong and dignified because of the Lord. She can laugh in the face of an uncertain future because her future is certain to God. She can rejoice because she knows that whatever happens is under God's sovereign control and goodwill. She does not need to fear or be anxious because her peace and trust are found in God. She is confident that God will bring to pass what is best, and she will continue to praise and serve Him through it. This is definitely something we want to strive for and emulate. But how did she get to this place of trust and dependence in the sovereignty of God? That's a good question. She knew her God. She knew his character and promises. And how did she get to know God? By reading and studying his word. Psalm 119 has 176 verses, and a majority of those verses mention the word of God. The psalmist loves God's word and is dependent on it. Verse 2 tells us, how blessed are those who observe his testimonies, who seek him with all their heart. We are blessed when we know his word. And the more we know God's word, the more our thoughts change and mature to be in line with his word. In order to have our thoughts be rooted in confidence in God and dignity, we need to remember his character and promises. Philippians 4.8 tells us what our thought life should look like. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Any thoughts that can't be described by these characteristics are thoughts that are undignified and should be replaced with dignified thoughts that are rooted in God's word and based upon our confidence in God. These are some really great truths to meditate on, Jen. But how can we grow in our confidence in God in our thought lives practically? Well, that is a great question, Elisa. There are many ways we can grow, but we only have time to share three practical tips for how you can grow in your confidence in God in this video. So the first tip we have for today is to be in the Word. We need to know and study God's Word so we can know more about Him and His character and be confident in who He is as God. You can memorize verses about God's character and promises to help you combat those areas that you struggle with in your thought life. The second tip is to pray. Pray and ask God to help you to grow in your confidence in Him so that you can have dignified thoughts. Be in prayer about your thought life throughout the day and ask God to help you recognize thoughts that lack confidence in His character so you can instead meditate upon the truths you know from God's Word. And our third tip is to have accountability with other sisters in the church. Find an accountability buddy that can check in on you and your thought life and help remind you of God's word when you're struggling with doubts, anxieties, or worries. This has been super helpful for me when it comes to battling emotions in my thought life. 
It's natural for me to want to just retreat and just wallow alone when I'm sad, but since I've asked my friends to keep me accountable, I've been reminded of God's truth in the times when I really needed it. Even when it's uncomfortable and I feel like I'd rather just not tell anyone, it gives me confidence to know that I have good friends who will just knock some sense into me and help me out of my rut by telling me truth from God's word so that I can think rightly. Thanks for sharing that with us, Jen. Praise God for loving sisters in the church who point us back to God and encourage us to have dignified thoughts. It's also exciting to think about how God can use our intake of scripture to mold our thoughts to be honorable to Him and dignified. And as we have honorable and dignified thoughts, God grows our confidence in Him in all circumstances because we know His character and that He alone is sovereign and always good. If you're encouraged to grow in being a woman of dignity who has the utmost confidence in her God, then please give this video a like. And if you're excited to keep learning more about how we can live dignified lives in the day to day, subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on future videos. Until next time, stay, stay captivated. captivated. Do you ever, do you ever? <laughs>